Hey students, this is Mr. Anderson. I uh, wanted to go over and give you some hints, a uh, tutorial uh, video, uh, so we could go over some things. Uh, it shouldn't take too long. Uh, for Chapter 3 and Chapter 4, you're going to learn about orthographic views. And in the book, you'll see something that's similar to this. Okay. And what they want you to do is draw the three... Uh, the three sides, okay, the three views, three standard views of the drawing uh, of the object. So what I'm going to do, and like I said, chapter three, it goes over it. Um, it doesn't explain it as well as I'd like because I've always got somebody who's going to draw something wrong. Um, but let me go over some things real quick here. Uh, when determining the front view, you're going to want the longest view. Okay, so in this case, looking at it like this, that is your front view. Now, if you're standing over top of it, this right here is uh, your top view. And then, now, you know, you're like, well, what about the back side there? Well, the, yeah, that's the rear view. You really don't need to draw that 98% uh, of the time. There's no need for that. But it's good to know where it is. And the reason this is the front view is, first of all, it is the longest view. Secondly, it shows the most features. It shows that this is stepped like this, and it shows that there's a little ridge there, and then this is sloped. Okay, and then obviously for the side view, you have this view here. Now, you're like, well, why wouldn't it be on the other side? Well, your side view is going to be the view that shows the fewest number of hidden lines. So, if you looked at this side, if I could spin this thing around, yeah, you would see the step there, step there, step there. But you would not see this. This would appear as a hidden line. Okay? So, you know, and it would be right across the back side there. So this is why this would need to be your side view. You're like, well, why isn't it the front view? Well, it's not the front view because it's not the longest view. So then you think, well, what if it's a pyramid? What if it is perfectly symmetrical? Okay. Well, you do have one of those problems in here. And in that case, uh, if it's the same length uh, as opposed to width, uh, then you take the side or the view that shows the most details. So if it's got holes drilled in it in one side and it doesn't have holes drilled in the other, then you want the side that shows the holes. Okay? So, anyway, uh, we're going to start this uh, because I'm going to show you how you would access your template after you have drawn it. Okay? There's there's what mine looks like. Um, let me go over here to the Start button. We're going to dis discard that one. And, oh, no, don't save changes. So we're going to go to the Start button here. And see the start drawing? There's a thing that says templates. It's kind of gray. If you click on the down arrow, and when you save your template, like I've done here, I've got mine as A-A-A, -A -A, then my initials, then it says dash A size. DWT. This way, all of your DWTs are stored in this spot right here. Okay? You won't find any DWGs in here because those are drawing files which is what you'll you'll save your drawing as when you're finished. So, I'm going to click on that. Boom, there's that. And like I said, if you if you automatically click on this, it'll bring up your template automatically so you can choose whatever. So, we do all of our drawings in the model space. So, to start with the front view and this assignment is P4-2. It's also P8-2 when you go to start dimensioning things. So that's good to remember. 
and it's always good to have your work. When I grade your stuff, I'll tell you what's wrong with it. Okay, so if something isn't quite right, you want to make sure you correct it so that when you dimension it, you don't have to go back and correct it again. Okay, so you hit line. Oh, and there's also all of these. These are your layers. Chapter 2 goes into how you do your layers. Okay, and I need to get out of the border and draw with my zero, my object line. So, here we go. So I'm going to start with a, I'm going to start with the ridge, because this will be easier this way. So we're going to go down 20.25, and then we're going to go this way for 4, and we're going to go straight up for 1.75. And then, now this doesn't give me a dimension, so I've got to just take a line and bring it out to here, as we're going to trim it afterwards. And then we have to do a line at 30 degrees from here. So it'll be a minus 30 that way, or you can go this way. And we're going to just draw this up here. I'm going to hit the tab button and watch the number turn blue up there at the top. Okay. And 30 plus 90 is 120. Nope, that would be the wrong amount. I want 30 from the 180, so that would be 150. So 150, right there. And I'm just going to hit Enter, and there we go. Select those, hit Trim. Boom and boom. Now, next, I'm going to offset. So I need to tell it I want to offset the first line at 0.75. Now click on this one, raise it up to there. The next one, I'm going to offset 0.5. Or I could go 0.125 and select the base. But I'm going to just select this one. And there you go. Okay. And we trim again. And your front view is complete. Next, we're going to draw the top view. I'm just going to go up here. Actually, I'm going to select line. I'm going to choose that as a point, but I'm not going to click. See the dashed green line that comes up? I'm going to raise it up to right about there. And I'm going to go 4. And then 2.25. If you've got your uh, polar tracking on, it's a whole lot easier because it snaps to certain uh, degrees. Okay. Otherwise, I would hit Tab and make this... 90. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And another 4. And then I'm going to hit C for close. And there we go. So now I know these are 0.5 apart. So since we've already got 0.5 chosen, but I'm going to go ahead and 0.5. Enter. Click this one. Nope, it's not. It's 0.75. What am I thinking? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit Control Z, which undo. You know, that's the undo command. So 0.75. Click here, there. Click here. Okay. Now from here, I'm going to draw lines. There's one for that one. And I'm going to select that and copy for that one and that one. I have my snap turned on. You saw the, where the green square comes up. We're at the center of my cursor. See? So now we're going to trim some more. 
So, we trim. Let's see, we don't need that line. 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 We don't need that one, or that one, or that one. And that is what our top view would look like. Okay? So, we finish that. Next. Sorry I'm 10 minutes into this. I thought it was going to be a little faster than that, but that's okay. I'm going to make a miter line. And the miter line is at 45 degrees. So I hit that, and I hit 45. Hit Enter. Now I'm going to draw lines. And I'm just going to draw one right now. And just go just beyond that line there. So that it doesn't try to snap to it for any reason. And then I'm going to copy. 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 I'm also going to copy here, here, and here. Now I'm going to select these. There we go. Hit the mirror command. Now you should have learned all of these commands in the chapter 2 stuff. Uh, because that's why they had the different uh, things. So now it's asking you erase source objects. Yes or no. I like to say no. And there's our lines there. Okay. Now we also need some lines. I didn't copy those. Need one there. One there. Now, this is where it gets fun and sometimes confusing. We're going to trim all of these. Okay, and there's our, our block. Now we can actually get rid of these guys if you want. And now we just trim. So, select that. Now we know that there's not going to be any lines on that part. And we know that there's not going to be any line here or here or here or here or here or here. Next, we click there, there, there. I'm going to have to delete that one. There. And that is what your three views will look like. Okay? Now, just so that there's no confusion, your side view can be on either side. So, uh, I remember somebody said, no, your side view is always on the right side. That's a negative. If, if this was reversed, okay, then this view would be on this side. So, you know, for example, see? Because if it was on this side, oh no, this is really drawn wrong. <laughs> no, that would be right. Yeah, this is correct. Because that's the high point, and it steps down, and it steps down. Yeah. So this would be the right way. But I don't want to confuse you guys too much. So we're going to go back to our Imperial title block. We're going to activate the viewport. Okay. I'm going to type in the letter Z. Enter. Then the letter A. Enter. And there's our drawing. So then I hold down on my scrolly wheel. See the hand? That's the pan hand. Okay, and then I go down here to the Viewport Manager. It's down here, okay? Click on that and select one-to-one. -one. Well, it's not in my screen, so I hit the pan hand again. Again, that's just hold down the scroll wheel. I go there. That seems to be nice and centered, so then I'm going to lock my viewport so I don't mess it up again. 
it is set at 1 to 1 and I'm going to click this to get rid of the drawing grid and there you have it so what we would need to do if you follow the directions in the title block template videos I have this set up as a field you can also set this up as a field and it would save it as the file name which your assignment on this would be as I'm waiting for it to there we go I can edit it now so it would be P4-2 and if I added dimensions to it then it would be P8-2 because it's the same assignment in chapter 8 my scale is 1 colon 1 do not use commas I will count it wrong um, however if you have a problem using numbers you can say this is full F-U-L-L -L, full scale we have about five different accepted scales in this class one being and apologize for my squeaky metal chair um, that's what you hear back here in the background but we have uh, full scale which is one to one there's also one colon two or one to two which is half scale then there's one colon four which is quarter scale now I will accept words there if you like uh, we've also got a two to one and that involves us I don't think we do in this class but we do in the CAD class itself sorry it's a, I need to oil this thing so that's how we do that uh, if you sometime and you can fit this as in uh, as a field as well okay so uh, if you have those set as fields then all you have to do is uh, type in update field see that it automatically went to that so I hit enter and then I select that if I had several of them here I would select that and that and then I hit enter and watch it change to uh, June 2nd 2020 there it is 6 to 2020 so if you want 100 points this is how it should look okay if you have questions let me know I'm here to help I can do a shorter video so I don't have to explain a whole lot of stuff uh, a lot of times I will take your homework and make a video of me correcting it and showing you how to fix what you've messed up or didn't do or you know anything and I understand you guys are beginners you know if you have previous CAD experience that's great um, and you know let me know if you think I'm talking down to you I don't mean to I'm just trying to help you learn uh, as best as I know how and uh, from the very beginning is usually the best way to teach so anyway let me know how I can help you and again um, I'm here my contact information is in the syllabus and thank you very much for spending nearly 19 minutes of your time to watch this good luck take care bye bye